Hi guys, welcome to Classic Sitcoms Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, today's video is on Larry Linville from MASH and how he loved speaking with college students about acting, MASH, and Major Burns. Stay look. Uh, though he'd likely always be associated with the bad guy persona, MASH star Larry Linville was never afraid to open up about his time on the hit series especially with the youth of the acting world at the time. His character, Major Frank Burns, became a standout in the series. First five seasons, his constant feuds with Hawkeye, romance with Hot Lips Houlihan, and his undeniable patriotic stance after all reasons, Burns and Linville stood out. I pulled out every box in my head, Mark Nerd, Moron, and Slime, he said in 1986 uh, newspaper article from the Philadelphia Inquirer. He said it to the crowd of students on the campus of Glassboro State College in New Jersey, now named Rowan University. In his post-MASH life, Lindwell made appearances on campus nationwide. Though he became one of the many stars of MASH, Lindwell initially thought the show wasn't going to get off the ground. In 87, he told students at Murray State University in Kentucky, trying to make a TV show out of a popular movie is the kiss of death, per a Paducah Sun article. A California native was proved wrong instantly. First time he read the script together, we had magic, personal human chemistry. Everyone was wildly excited, he said, mainly because we weren't making television. We were making itty-bitty short movies. It was an unusual path to stardom for Linville, who aspired to rise to the sky, not through the ratings on a hit drum, uh, dramedy series. Uh, I was going to fly far, faster and farther and higher than anyone had before. I was going to fly for NASA. NASA didn't exist, but that is okay. Linville earned a glider pilot's license at just 12 years old, leading to his aspirations for space travel. Though when he got to high school, things changed. He told students he went out with his football team to get girls, but found theater was the way to go. Stage debut was a Christmas pageant, and he played the innkeeper that turned away Mary and Joseph. Typecast from the beginning, he told the students, who interrupted in the laughter. Linville felt uh, interacting with the drama department, acting and performing student body was important as a lot of decisions that shaped my life took place in college, he said uh, in the Philadelphia Inquirer. Uh, Linville's presence was well received as his speeches and interactions often lasted multiple hours. Uh, the MASH characters became part of your life, one student said. Part of the reason the characters were so memorable was the background of the actors. They weren't Hollywood types. We all had worked in theater, said Linville, who graduated from the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts in London. Linville is proof that the moment we, uh, we so often hear about in the entertainment industry can come at any time. He echoed that message, message to theater programs across the nation. I just always found him so fascinating because I've done, I've read some stuff up on him. And of course, Frank Burns was this hated character and sometimes he was a sympathetic character but Larry Linville supposedly was uh, probably the nicest guy in the world which is usually the way it works out uh, people playing it um, and he was supposedly a very very funny man and apparently if he added his little touch to Frank Burns then yes he was that's all I have for you please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia head on over there and please subscribe thank you uh, have a great day God bless you and I'll be praying for you